characters that every time I look at the player cam, these guys are never had like smiling. They're like all about business. Oh yeah, so many stone faces. Stone faces. With these top level man. players. Like one time, I just want to go uh, wa uh, back and watch all the streams and just like look at the hilarity of the stone faces. Right. Dude, the other, here's the other thing is that while I'm watching this match here and I'm looking at the way that Cloud up, uh, is approaching this match as opposed to how Tweak was using it earlier, yeah. it's just interesting. But look at how Vex immediately taking a page out of his book, um, using that movement. I think that uh, Tweak seemed to squeeze in more limit charge here and there where it allowed him to just continuously, you know, keep that pressure on mm -hmm. almost simultaneously. Ooh, he was able to escape with that forward smash though. Yeah. See if Matt can find any purchase with any combo that Mario can get right now. Yeah, less retreating too. I don't know what it is. It seems like Streak found a way to make offense and de defense a, a a a conscious effort, like yeah. consistently in the match here. That's what I was gonna say. Like um, for that last match, uh, well, uh, we shouldn't really focus on the last match, but like um, Vex when he was playing Logic, he stuck to playing either really offensively or defensively, and Logic was able to respond as an Alf player. Mm -hmm. Uh, but Tweak was able to shift so many times through uh, offense and defense in the same match that maybe it was just giving Logic a little bit of trouble. Right. I feel as though also that uh, Vex has um, a mastery of almost every character at a fundamental level. Mm -hmm. And so I think given the time, it's very possible that, you know, he may be able to mimic such movement. But right here, he just basically is displaying sound fundamentals. Yeah. Like, you just watching this matchup. He's auto-canceling all these attacks. Basically, he's moving. He moved good. <laughs> he moved real good. And he is close to actually lapping Mario in percentage. So, yeah, he's not giving a second to breathe. Matt trying to find some purchase, some kind of combo. Gets the grab. Here we go. Up smash. Yeah, and pretty much Come Matt, on. in this matchup, I gotta say, even though he may be down in stocks, finding a character with this much Ooh, range great and tech, because that would have bounced right back up the cloud and back throw. Sorry. No, no, you're fine. In this type of matchup, oh, Ooh, just a little bit too uh, late on the waiting there. Yeah, he, he might have been just a little too patient, which is funny because Smash Four definitely rewards whew, rewards patience. Mm -hmm. Cloud staying alive here using that blade beam. You know what? That limit. Didn't get that much love in the in the in the series, the actual games, <laughs> and the, yeah, in the actual <laughs> games, and now even in this game, it's just like, pfft, oh, blade, yeah. blade beam. Okay. Dude, let me down B. Dude, let me down B. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm. All right, he now he's deck. dangerous again, and see, you can see the the difference in um, positioning here, where it seems as though where Tweak would immediately <laughs> go for it, uh, an instant ledge trump situation. Mm. It looks like Vex reacts more, you know what I mean? Yes. He, he reads the situation and what he's comfortable with and actually reads it between each character. Not saying that Tweak follows a flow chart, it's just you can see the difference in play yeah, yeah, from yeah. their decision choices. I like it. I, I like the way that both characters approach the, char uh, the same character in a different way. It just gives a little bit more versatility to how every character is played. Ooh, I like this. I love seeing Greninja's play. And uh, he actually used them in friendlies a little bit, so I am actually pretty excited for this. Did he really? Yeah. Also, shout out since MDVA is in the building, shout out to Techie out there. Yeah, yeah. Probably absolutely. sitting there like, hmm, Greninja. Let's, <laughs> let's see if this guy's even good, man. All right. So we're going to jump right into game two here of Losers Bracket. Um, <clears throat> Round six, Losers. And we're going to have Vex Kasrani facing off against SSB Matt. SSB Matt with a, uh, his uh, character switch to uh, Greninja. Interesting choice against Cloud. Yeah. If he wins, man, better nerf Greninja. <laughs> I'm not going to list off all those things that I see in the uh, Xanadu chat normally, but yeah, whatever. Get Koga! <laughs> so we're going to pretty much have Matt try to find a way to march his way back up in damage against Cloud. I don't really know too much about Greninja and his tech. I have I seen Techie pull off some impressive setups. Ooh. So. Able to dodge that second part of that down smash and actually save him there. Yeah. And that recovery is actually mm. going to be a huge benefit. One thing I do know about Greninja is that those auto can Oh. Did yeah, he, he wasted his uh, his limit there, yeah. Looked like he stuffed Blade Beam or Cross... Or, um... What's that? Climb Hazard? Climb Hazard, right. Yeah, it was interesting. And because he did that, it was actually... Oh, snap! What up? <laughs> and he gets wow, the taunt in, too. Get that, uh, body clock. 
See, the one thing I do know about Greninja is that uh, fair is good. <laughs> That's all I do. F fair is good. <laughs> I mean, I just know that in the very beginning it has a tremendous amount of auto-canceling frames, so it just makes it a really good approach tool. Okay. And uh, I don't really know too much else about Greninja. Ooh, keeping him out with these back airs. Oh, back pressure, air is but the climb has work. Mm. You think he would have been able to snap and spike there? Uh. Does climb hazard send them forward after the first hit by a little bit? Not really sure, man. Because if, uh, it, if it kept him on the same level, I think he would have spiked. But if it did send him forward, I think it would have bounced on stage. I do know that DI is a factor, so. That's, okay, yeah. So if, uh, if Matt DI'd the right way, I think he would have been fine. Mm. One thing I will say is that Matt looking in trouble here could possibly be on his tournament stock. Because with Limit in the... <laughs> with Almost oh, had the up am... smash read, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, did he stuff his Limit here? Wow, he had limit a moment ago. Yes, we did? Okay, I didn't even realize that. Dude, he, I'm 100% I'm certain that he had it. And then, out of nowhere, man, it is gone and not a longer a factor Ooh. here in this matchup. And now it seems as though Matt can possibly make that comeback. Or is Vex going to put Matt... This oh, might do it here with this edge guard situation. Put him on the bench, coach. No, try the two frames. Oh! Shield through! Oh, yeah, but no cap opportunity off of it. Excellent patience there. There he is, and he claims around with Greninja. Very nice showing from SSB Matt. Water slash. <laughs> I don't even know what that move is. I don't care what that Pokemon move is. Who cares? He won. The Greninja just beat a cloud. Yeah. Nerf him. <laughs> Nerve him. Inhibit the rivet. Nerf him. That's going to be the only one that I say. Inhibit the rivet. Yeah. I, I like that it. one the most. I like that. Too. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, we're getting a little bit of chat lag, but you know. <laughs> yeah, that was impressive, man. For Here come soon. SSB, man. Oh, snap, what up? <laughs> oh, we get that DK. You already know what time it is. Vex at the door with that run back mode. Uh oh. Uh oh. My gosh. Uh oh. It's an on platform. Bruh. And it does take Bruh. out. Oh. Zero to death. I gotta do this for Trevor. Bruh. Ding dong. Vex gon' give it to you. Oh my <laughs> god. I, I gotta say, I don't know if that. I would, I would really feel like, you know what? Let me just try to do something else then. I'm gonna just try my best. <laughs> try my best. I don't even have any more intentions of winning this match. Wow. What a, wow. But yeah, Matt still keeping the pressure on. Yeah, Matt, Matt, definitely in run back mode though. He said, you know what? You got it. You can have that. That was ill. I wonder if Matt's aware of that uh, up B push off. I mean, he should because he should know all, pretty much all the characters, obviously. Ooh. But. Ooh. Oh, but is he about to take DK? Oh, I was about to say, for a ride, man. Mm. Uh-oh, time to city. You already know those ceilings are high. Try to get for an up air read instead of an up smash. Wow, get up it. air. Not or, uh, up take... tilt to up air, man. Mm -hmm. Just keeping the Shall pressure see? on. Get to... Okay, up. Yeah, with that rage, that was a good option. Oh, my gosh. The Shadow Sneak, he's going to have to be really, really careful here. I mean... I've seen DK, I saw this one video where DK actually, like, legit, like, sd just so that he could reset the, uh, the data. Oh, Back no. Yeah, okay, that's it, man. Wow. Little anticlimactic there in the finish. However, still really strong showing by CT Vex Kasrani Absolutely. against, uh, SSB Matt. SSB Matt definitely, he did his job, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Did he get that second stock? Uh, I don't think he got that second stock, man. I don't think so. That's 2-0, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Rip. Who? Yeah, I could have said it better myself. <laughs> yeah, dude, he, he fought hard, though. Yeah, showing that, like, he's been practicing with other characters except for the, uh, his Mario, yeah, so. Yeah, he did phenomenal. Can't ever say anything bad about that, man. No. Well, here came that boy. <laughs> that boy, though? Great Ape Destruction. <laughs> Bless, yeah, that was the, the Great Ape Destruction. Good stuff. That's interesting. Yeah, that I new, love, I that love new the King Kong movie coming out. Yeah, Skull man. Island. <laughs> so we're gonna yeah, have. Freaking, this is a little bit grim.